9-11 Somebody selling us 21 grams All the time We got on the phone He's playing a record though Violence is free Oh, that's fine We should get back home, Selena We could make it bum and bop We could rise and shout together And we will make it to the church I might be bar- We're gonna drink with
<laughs> the Kalahari's got its own draw. It's vast and it's forever. You've just got to get into those sand dunes on your own and there you're going to find a lot of solitude. It can seem like a place of massive emptiness but you suddenly find five, six different animal tracks right there. There's this huge amount of life, and when I'm on a filming project, I really like to try and live like the animals do so that I can experience the hardships that they're going through. I want to see wildlife in a totally different context, and that's really, I suppose, what draws me to the Kalahari. It's the, the vastness and the openness. I really enjoy being able to see these massive distances. Those are great images and things that stick with you.
March 14, 1879. Physicist Albert Einstein, considered the greatest scientist of the 20th century, is born in Germany. It is intelligence, which is the ability to learn from experience, to plan ahead. It includes the capacity to give up immediate temporary benefits for permanent ones. 1794, Eli Whitney receives a patent for his cotton gin, an invention that revolutionizes America's cotton industry. 1995, astronaut Norman Thagard becomes the first American to enter space aboard a Russian rocket. And 1933. Good night, you princes of Maine, you kings of New England. Actor Michael Caine, whose movie roles include Alfie and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, is born in London. Also that same year, composer and conductor Quincy Jones is born in Chicago. He's best known for producing Michael Jackson's Thriller album and the song We Are the World. Today in History, March 14th, Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press. Welcome back in our studio and in today's news, 